נתן לי את שפתיי, איי, את שיריי ומילותיי, איי, עוד אלו בי תפילותיי, תהילה לאלוהיי, איי. היי, מי נאם ישון ברשף, וולקאם טו ליטל ג'רוסלם. You're joining me on top of Mount Arbel. There is no better place to get the big picture of Jesus' public ministry in the Sea of Galilee than from the cliffs of Mount Arbel. Overlooking the Sea of Galilee from the west, from here you can see it all. With a little imagination, you can go straight back into history. Today the sea is called the Galilee by tourists and Kineret by locals. The Hebrew name Kineret means harp-shaped. See, a legend says, from all the seas which God created, he chose for himself only the sea of Kineret. Some say because the shape of the sea resembles that of a harp, where others say that because the voice of its waves are as pleasant as the voice of the harp. This freshwater sea is only 13 miles long and 8 miles wide, where the source of the water comes from the Jordan, starting at the Mount Charmon on the Lebanese border. Even though the Kinneret looks calm, storms do happen during the winter because of the strong winds that blow between the mountains over the sea together with its small size, creating a sloshing effect. So it's no surprise to read about the storms found written in the Gospels. This place can get real crazy. And also, it was the main trade route between Damascus, Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, and Syria. The fresh water was still the main attraction, obviously. Because Israel is still a desert. And it's still the major source of fresh water for all of Israel. Besides that, it's still full of life with mussels, fish, and so much more. They actually have a fish here called the St. Peter's fish, a very indigenous fish which would have been caught by Peter the disciple. Hence the name. Duh. But at the foot of Mount Arbel, right down there, Woo! next to the Galilee, we find the city of Magdala in the plain of Gennesaret, where the prostitute Mary Magdalena was from and where Jesus chased seven demons out of her. But even more awesome, in this area in Matthew 14 it says that people came to Jesus from all over the Galilee and begged if they could just touch the hem of his clothes, where after they were completely healed. See in Hebrew, hem is wing and wing of his clothes. And in Malachi 4.2 it says, For those who revere my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. So in Malachi it says the Son of Righteousness, well the Son of Righteousness is Jesus, but Jesus is also the Son of Righteousness. See Jesus is the Son and the Son, He's the light of the world, and He rises for us every day with healing in His wings. So whenever in need, think of the soothing voice of the harp of God, and remember, just grab onto the wings of Jesus Christ. And from Mount Arbel, thank you for joining us today. Please keep on tuning in and check out www.littlejerusalem.org.